Okay, so this is a video on how to show that F is equal to MA. So this usually comes up um, with showing that how this is related to Newton's second law. So Newton's second law basically states that the force is proportional to the rate of change of momentum. Rate of change of momentum. So this is what Newton's second law is. <clears throat> the second law. Okay. So the force is proportional to the rate of change of momentum. So if we remember anything, a rate of change means how something changes over time. Okay, that's always what we use it in, in this physics syllabus. So we're gonna we're gonna look at this. And so what are we gonna say? So we know force is F. Yeah. So that's proportional. So the rate of change of momentum. So we should remember what momentum is. So momentum is just, we have it as P is equal to MV. Yeah, so it's just the momentum is the mass multiplied by the velocity. Okay, so the change of momentum. So that means it's the difference between the final and the initial divided by time, doesn't it? So, so we can just put that in. So we have the final velocity, which is just going to be mv minus the initial velocity, which is just going to be mu, and all divided by time. Okay, so that's what Newton's law tells us. It says it this in words, and that's what it is in maths. So the force is proportional to the final velocity minus the initial velocity divided by time, which is the rate of change of momentum. Now, this thing is proportional means that these two are related but we don't really know what it's by like it could be by two or by three or by a half or by anything but so when we want to get rid of this and we want to turn it to an equals what we do is we just put in a variable in this case we're going to use the variable k okay so mv minus mu all over t so this now I'm not saying what this is, I haven't said if it's a 1, if it's a pi, anything, it could be whatever it is, and it doesn't really matter for the moment, but it allows us to have an equals here. Okay, so now if you look at this, we're going to have this m is common to both of them, so we're going we're gonna to pull that out, because it's usually what we do if we can have anything. So we've got our k and m, and then we're left with v minus u all over t. Sorry, this is getting a little bit cramped. I'll just stick that up there. Okay, now this should look familiar. This v is equal to v minus u over t. So what's this? This is the final velocity minus the initial velocity over time, or it's the rate of change of velocity. Yeah. So if we remember, that was what our definition of acceleration was. And acceleration is the rate of change of velocity v minus u over t. So that's all that this is. It's a rate of change. So again, we now have v f is equal to k m a. So we're expecting this. We know that f is equal to m. So here's this k. And this is the thing. So the way we can get rid of this, we just turn k. We just make k is equal to 1. And why can we do that? Well, because what we're going to do is we're going to define what a, what a Newton is. Okay, so our F, we're just going to say that if we have a mass of 1 kilogram, and we do have an acceleration of 1 meters per second, yeah, 1 meters per second squared, yeah, if we're just going to say that, well, if we say that, then we're going to call that, whatever this value is, 1 Newton. Then we're going to still have our k here. We're going to define what a Newton is by saying it's for 1 kilo and 1 meters per second squared. So a mass of 1 kilo being accelerated at 1 meter per second squared is 1 Newton. So we've just defined what a Newton is, because it, was, it wasn't a thing before we, we made it, and we made it a value. So now, if we want to look at this, we can try and find out 
what the value for k is. So if we look, we have 1 is equal to k multiplied by 1 multiplied by 1. So that's just 1, isn't it? 1 multiplied by 1 is 1, and 1k one is 1. So 1 is equal to k. So k is just 1. And we can just make that disappear. Now we've defined... Oh, sorry, we've defined that. We've just said it is because we've defining what a newton is okay so that's how this will just go to f is equal to m a because we just made our k we've defined what a newton is so that k will be one hope that makes sense if it isn't just give me a message